Nagorno-Karabakh. It's a mountainous region you may have never heard of before, but right now it's the backdrop of the deadly conflict between Armenia and Azerbaijan. And this conflict is about territory. Karabakh, or known to Armenians as Artsakh, is about the size of Delaware and lies within Azerbaijan, but has historically been occupied by ethnic Armenians and under the control of ethnic Armenian forces since the end of a separatist war in 1994 that killed about 30,000 and displaced around 1 million. That war started in the late 80s, after the Soviet Union began to fall, and after tensions had been growing between the Christian Armenians and Muslim Azeris. Fighting periodically breaks out around Karabakh's borders, but the long-simmering feud came to a head most recently on September 27th. Hundreds, including civilians, have been killed and wounded in attacks by both sides, who blame one another for starting the violence. So what is the broader impact? Both countries have powerful regional backers. Traditionally, Turkey is an ally of Azerbaijan. Armenia claims that Turkey is sending Syrian fighters and F-16 combat jets to assist in the conflict, but both Turkey and Azerbaijan deny those claims. Meanwhile, Armenia is traditionally a military ally of Russia. On October 2nd, the Kremlin reported that Vladimir Putin spoke to the Prime Minister of Armenia, urging immediate ceasefire. So how is the U.S. reacting? President Trump, along with French President Emmanuel Macron and Russian President Vladimir Putin, issued a statement on October 1st, calling for immediate ceasefire on both sides. Armenia! And here in Los Angeles, thousands continue to protest in support of Armenia. They're attacking our lands. They're taking what's been ours for thousands of centuries. In a statement to ABC7, the Azerbaijan Consul General in Los Angeles said that Azerbaijan wants peace. And for peace to happen, Armenia needs to withdraw its armed forces. Mayor Garcetti says L.A. is home to the largest Armenian diaspora. Here in Los Angeles, we will use our status as a global crossroads to strengthen the forces of dialogue and engagement and to call for immediate peace now. 